All right, before we get started, we need to make sure everybody here is of legal drinking age. Are we good? All right, let's talk whiskey. Welcome back, fellas. It's Robert, your everyday gentleman. And today, like I said, we're talking about whiskey. W-H-I-S-K-Y. I just got home from work, so I figured no better time to sit back, mellow out with a nice drink, and put together a quick little video for you guys and share with you what I know about my drink of choice. Now, there's three main types of whiskey that you'll commonly find. Primarily, they're distinguished by the region that they're distilled in, but there are other factors that we won't get into right now in regards to the type of barrel that they're in, how long they're aged, things of that nature. But again, primarily, it's where they're distilled. Now, you have this Irish whiskey, whiskey spelled W-H-I-S-K-E-Y, is from Ireland. That's like this Jameson bottle that you see here. Then you have whiskey that's distilled in Scotland. You have your scotch, like this Ardbeg. Also, there's Johnny Walker. There's also bourbon. Bourbon, I don't have a bottle of that, unfortunately. Bourbon is primarily distilled in the United States. Now, there are other regions, obviously, that make whiskey. Japan, Canada. But primarily, these three are the main types that you see. Now, it's good to get familiar with what's on the label so you get an understanding of what kind of whiskey you're actually getting. For example, this art bag here says single malt scotch whiskey 10. Now, the single malt is actually talking about two things. It doesn't mean that it's one malt. Single means that the alcohol came from one distillery, where this Johnny Walker, for example, this is a double black, says blended scotch whiskey, which means this came from multiple distilleries. Different alcohols are blended together to get a more consistent taste. You'll find that in a single, you'll, you might find some slight differences from bottle to bottle. But for the most part, it's very similar. Then you have the malt on there, which basically means that the alcohol came from barley. You'll also see things like grain, but primarily from what I've seen, you'll see malt. Then you have the number 10, you'll see 12, 18, 20, 25, different amounts. That basically tells you how long the alcohol was aged inside of the barrel. Now, an older whiskey doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be a better whiskey. The sweet spot for scotch, for example, which of the three is my favorite drink, the sweet spot for that, as I understand it, is between 10 to 20 years. So if you get a scotch in between that time frame, you've got a pretty good scotch. Getting older than that doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be a better whiskey. I have tried a McKellen 25, for example, and I can tell you that right now my favorite is a McKellen 18. The 25 is much more expensive, but when you look at the flavor, and this is just my preference, the 18 to me is a much better whiskey. Now there's different ways to enjoy whiskey. Which way is correct? Really depends on the way that you like to enjoy it. People will tell you, don't drink it mixed, don't do this, don't do that. Enjoy the whiskey the way that you like to enjoy it. That's really what it comes down to. Me personally, depending on the type of whiskey it is, I'll drink it either neat or on the rocks. Neat means you're basically just pouring the alcohol into an empty glass. This one has an ice cube in it. But you'll pour it into an empty glass and you'll just, you'll enjoy it that way. The other way is known as on the rocks. On the rocks means you'll have an ice cube or some ice cubes in it, which is a lot of times how I like to enjoy it. Putting an ice cube in there will dull the flavor a little bit. So some people don't like it for that reason. I like to make these clear ice cubes. I don't know if you can really catch that in the camera. The, the glass is a little foggy just because the ice cube has been sitting in there for a while. But I make these clear ice cubes, large blocks, because they melt a little bit slower. It does water down the alcohol a little bit and uh, makes it tasty. The other way is obviously in a cocktail, mixing it, making like an old fashioned, for example, or a highball. Um, you can also, which I'll do from time to time if I'm having a neat. What's up, buddy? You're saying hi? <laughs> This guy came to say hi. If I'm having a neat scotch, I'll get a glass of water with a straw, and then I'll just take a little bit of that uh, water with the straw, drop it into my scotch, and then enjoy it like that. The water will kind of break up the notes, make it a little bit more flavorful. Um, to me, that, that's a good way to enjoy a nice scotch. If I'm drinking a McKellen 18, for example, that's the way I'll primarily drink it. Now that's pretty much it as far as the basics of whiskey. 
I wanted to make this a pretty quick video. There is obviously much more that we can get into. And if you want to know more about whiskey, a specific type of whiskey, something like that, make sure you put that down in the comments below. Now, the most important thing to remember when it comes to whiskey or any other type of alcohol for that matter, the number one thing to remember and the number one thing that a gentleman always does is drink responsibly. You never want to get sloppy drunk. You never want to get to the point where you're just making a fool of yourself and you absolutely never ever want to get behind the wheel when you've been drinking. So with that, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button down below, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of all future videos. And remember, being a gentleman is an everyday thing. Now, excuse me while I pour a little bit of this Johnny Walker double black. This is a very, very nice whiskey, nice and smoky, which is how I like it. Sit back and enjoy this drink and enjoy the evening. Cheers, gentlemen.